this house was destroyed by the uh, it was damaged badly by the hurricane Elsa mm -hmm. last year, and um, the government had it. Came and you built it. You built, built it back. back. Uh -huh. I built it back the first time away. I built it back, and I came here to stay while the government was building the other whole house next door. Mm -hmm. uh, this house had four rooms. Uh, and, a, and a huge back patio that was over at the back of the house. I had also a front patio, and I had my solar, my solar um, panels on top of the house, and mostly galvanized. That was on the house on the neighbors have stolen the galvanized. But then you came and found it burning. Yes. Somebody set it on fire. Somebody set the house on fire. Mm -hmm. I came and, uh, somebody set the house on fire. When I came, it was still burning. And it was, uh, the fact that it was raining hard means that the fire had an, there was an accelerant, uh, in, my, in my opinion. Because mm -hmm. it, it was still burning and it was raining hard at the time. Mm -hmm. So, this so the neighbors stole the material? Yes. The Someone set the house on fire? The neighbors stole all the material and set the house on fire. And the material is now down the gap on another person's home. Okay, so this is what the rural development commission was building for you. The NHC, sorry. So where are you living right now? I uh, I am currently uh, squatting in, in a house in South District. Mm -hmm. right? So you're forced to squat in an abandoned house, I'm you say? forced to squat in an abandoned house because the, uh, the NHC has, has uh, claimed that they have no housing. People in Parliament are still looking there, the ones that were was responsible for me being in this position as it is. People in Parliament and elder, elder affairs. And um, this is where I'm at right now. The landlord, uh, can you go off like that? The landlord agreed. The landlord complained that this is the wrong foundation. Mm -hmm. That's why he went to the National House and told them that this is the wrong foundation. I spoke to 20 other contractors and said there's nothing wrong with this foundation. It's just a hanging foundation. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, you know, it's not a box foundation, it's just hanging. Uh, and how did you come to live in this area in the first place? You said he gave you permission. Yes, I, I, um, I, I, I leased the place from, um, from the owner of the land mm -hmm. and uh, I, just, I wanted to keep some sheep. I wanted to keep uh, livestock up there. Uh, the place is uh, isolated, um, so isolated that uh, if you leave the area, if I leave home, uh, no one knows when I'm leaving or coming back. But when I when I leave, anyone can come in, and that's what happened. People mm -hmm. came and stole the livestock. Mm -hmm. Within minutes after I left home, people came and stole the livestock. And what kind of livestock did you have? I had sheep. I had okay. Sheep. Wow. And they came and stole them there. They, and, they uh, also stole the so, your solar solar panels. They sold, stole, sold the solar panels off the house, the water barrel, the big huge um, is a 500 gallon barrel, um, the black ones, the water barrel. They stole uh, four of them. They stole the blue water barrels also. Whoa. So how do you feel about this situation that has rendered you now homeless? Well, th this. This is really a tough one for me because um, I, I, I left living in town, I left deliberately to find peace because I don't get along well with a whole lot of people. So this was a peaceful place for me. This was a place that I could spend a month, two months, three months without actually seeing anyone and be comfortable. Mm 